What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 6 of my Swansea City career mode. Uh, last episode I believe we played our first game in the Champions League up against Juve. Uh, check on that one if you want to see how that goes. But, as we haven't conceded a goal the whole season, I decided to fiddle about with the sliders a little bit. I got told to do it last season and I asked what one should I put up and do, but I didn't really get any feedback. So. I'm doing it a little bit now. Uh, I think I may go back and revisit them, but it did definitely make a difference in this episode. I don't know whether you guys will be able to tell or see, but um, yeah, I just uh, I just adjusted them a little bit to try and make the game a little bit more difficult for me. But first game of the episode, we've got Spurs away at White Hart Lane. And uh, like I said, the first 10 minutes of this game or so, I definitely did realise a difference. As you can see, they're not doing too well in the league, but with four games played, they haven't lost a game. And uh, like I just said, four games played and we haven't conceded a goal yet. Best defence in the league. As you can see from Spurs, no Vertonghen, no Toby Alderweireld, uh, no Harry Kane there either. They've got the likes of Divock Origi on the bench, uh, Andrew Robertson, who obviously transferred from us. Um, and they had Alderweireld on the bench. That's weird, Alderweireld on the bench instead of Vimmer or Fazio. But uh, <coughs> onto our team. As you can see, uh, Julian Cobb coming in at right back. He's I, No, I don't think this is his debut. No, I'm pretty sure it's not his debut, but it may be his Premier League debut. I'm not too sure, but... Anyway, we've got a really strong team out. Obviously, Ben Davis and Michel Vorm, formerly of Spurs, um, playing up against them. But early on into the game, six minutes in, as you can see, the ball comes to Boney here. Gets it through to Gilfie Sigurdsson. He just skips the tackle there from Wanyama. Still Gilfie Sigurdsson on the ball. He'll manage to uh, to get tackled. And then Ben Davis will pass it to Joe Allen. Joe Allen into Leroy Fair. And that one just comes off the post in the eighth minute of the game. Uh, he actually scored quite a good goal here last season, I believe. But uh, Sigurdsson puts the ball in a couple of minutes later. Lloris manages to get it away, but only as far as Memphis. Memphis will get it into Victor Ruiz. And Victor Ruiz will actually pass it back to Memphis. Opens up for the shot, but is not doing uh, too much difficulties there for the keeper. Again, 18 minute now. Uh, there's a couple of chances in this game early on. We've already got a couple of chances just 20 minutes into the game. But Nkudu gets tackled here by Shawcross. Shawcross gets it up to Leroy Fair who then passes it on to Modabaro. Nice skip inside the defender there. Still Mobaro. Mobaro sees Memphis. Memphis is through one on one with the keeper and he absolutely bottles it. For some reason Eric Lamela was tracked. I don't think Lamela has tracked back a day in, in his life for Spurs but uh, on this game he tracked back and he managed to stop I choked completely but um, nonetheless we managed to uh, to get ourselves an attack here 31st minute but it gets blocked out by Lamela but then gets blocked out by Memphis so we go on the counter attack here only three defenders back four Spurs Memphis will come inside the defender here then he'll pass it into Gilfi Sigurdsson Sigurdsson back into Memphis Memphis now is one on one with the keeper and he'll put that one away not the most orthodox finish but it was a good finish nonetheless from Memphis. He, he put it away, so I've got no uh, no problems with that whatsoever. The number 11, I think that's his third goal of the season. Nice one too with Gilfie there. And I should have probably squared it across, but nonetheless, Memphis is a clinical finisher. And he, uh, he shows it there. He put that one away. We're 1-0 up away from home. One thing I do want to touch on as well, guys. Uh, I, I haven't mentioned it before, and I haven't seen any comments for it. But I thought it's worth mentioning. I still haven't had the offer for the Welsh FA job, and I usually get it pretty soon on in career modes. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, as I was saying, I, I still haven't had the job offer. So um, when the Wales uh, Wales international job offer does come up, I will go for it. But like I said, I just haven't received anything. Uh, Spurs had a chance there just a couple of minutes before half time, but Ericsson just put it wide. And uh, then just a minute after half time, as you can see, Leroy, Leroy Fair gets the ball. He'll put it through to Memphis. Memphis will skip inside the defender, and the finesse shot is just over the crossbar. Good effort there. And just from the goal kick, uh, they kick it up, and Vic Janssen actually wins that chest down. But uh, we managed to get the ball. Joe Allen has the ball. He'll pass it into Leroy Fair. Leroy Fair out here to Cobb. And Modo Barrow's in a lot of space. It's still Mo Barrow. Now then, what can he do? He's in a lot of space down this right hand side. He'll cut it back onto his left foot. Back into Boney. Boney hits the post, but it falls nicely to Gilfie Sigurdsson. And uh, he won't celebrate as he puts us 2 0 up in the lead there. Just 50 minutes into the game, we're looking pretty comfortable. As you can see here, Mobaro, he'll just put it onto his left foot and Wilfred Boney hits it off the post. And as you can see, Gilfie Sigurdsson there in the right place at the right time. And that's a nice, well, I was going to say that's a nice finish, but it's 
it's a finish and it went in. So 2-0 up against a good Spurs team. I was pretty happy with that. Not so long after, Eric Lamella comes on the right-hand side here, passes it into Vincent Janssen. Janssen is just holding off Leroy Fair, but Victor Ruiz puts in a good tackle. Joe Allen passes up to Memphis. Memphis will look to play a 1-2 with Boney, but he won't get it back. Boney into Allen. Allen into Boney. Boney into Mobaro. Now then, Mobaro's in a bit of space again. He'll come inside the defender. Wilfred Boney's got the ball, but he gets fouled on the edge of the box. Instead of laying it off to Gilfie Sigurdsson. So we'll actually have a free kick in a dangerous position here. Here's Gilfie to take it. He steps over, gets it on target and scores his third goal of the season, I think. I think that's his third goal of the season. And uh, it might be his second free kick of the season as well. Our player of the season last season, uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson, comes up with a good. He puts us 3-0 ahead. Again, no celebration for his former team Spurs. I think had the wall have jumped there, that probably would have been a blocked shot. But... I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. It went in. As you can see, our man is just pretty happy there. Well, me. That's that's meant to be me. And uh, yeah, Gilfie Sigurdsson scores his third goal of the season. I'm pretty sure that's his second free kick as well. But uh, 82nd minute now, we're pretty much coasting. Any goal from Spurs will hopefully just be a consolation goal, as uh, as they have it out to Danny Rose on the left hand side. You're only six minutes left, and Kudu has the ball now. It's a good turn past Shawcross. Still, and Kudu with a decent chance. He puts it into the back post, and Ben Davis gets it away. As far as Memphis. But Memphis gets tackled into Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker into Hector Herrera. Into Christian Eriksen with possibly the best goal. Well, I was about to say the best goal we've conceded all season. That is the only goal we've conceded all season. And what a worthy one to concede as well. As you can see, he goes over and hugs Pochettino. I don't know why because there's only a couple of minutes left of the game. <clears throat> but like I said... That was a special finish. As you'll see from the replay here, Michel Vorm has absolutely no chance. Um, he, he gets it onto his left foot. I think he's got that five-star weak foot. And as you'll be able to see, there's just no back lift at all. He just hits it on a standstill, and that is literally top bins, as you can see from this angle here. Michel Vorm with no chance. Uh, he couldn't even get close to it but uh, a wonderful finish there from Ericsson and it puts a bit of pressure on us now five minutes left in the game we need to hold on um, but straight from kickoff we're going to try and get an attack going Modabaro has the ball on the right hand side here does well to get it up to Buffett Timby Gomez who I brought on off the bench as uh, Boney had played in the week in the, in the Champions League game but Memphis gets the ball here lovely ball over to Mobaro Mobaro put it back inside to Michu who scores his second goal of the season I did try to do a celebration there again but um I got tackled by Barro, I think it was. But a nice bit of play from us on the... Uh, well, it wasn't even a counter-attack. It was from kick-off. A good pass from Memphis over to Mobaro. Debatably... Well, not even debatably. Lloris really could have done better there. Um, but we'll take it. 4-1, 89th minute. And that is the game put to bed. Um... But Spurs in a last minute attempt to try and get a goal, they put a long ball up to Ericsson, not the best idea, but Victor Ruiz wins the header, then we've got it with Julian Cobb on the right hand side, he passes it up to Mobaro, Mobaro will decide to pass it up to Bafatimbi Gomez, nice one too there, Mobaro still got the ball, he's in a bit of space down this right hand side, and Hector Herrera slides in, and that is the most stupidest thing I've ever seen, uh, Stonewall penalty against Hector Herrera. He'll get the yellow card as well. I don't even know why he went to ground there, but we actually nominate Michu to step up for this. He'll go the right way, and so will Aris, but somehow, some way, it went in. I, uh, I'm i not going to argue against it because it went in, but um, Michu there, I did actually manage to do a little bit of his celebration. As you can see, he goes over and celebrates with the subs bench, but... Uh, I was gutted when Larice went the same way because I was like, oh, it would have been nice for Michu to get to, but it, it still went in. As you can see here, it wasn't the best penalty, but uh, yeah, it just comes off the chest of Larice there and goes in. I, I, I'm not sure how that works. Uh, nearly went under him, but 5 1, this has been an annihilation. To be fair, our last two goals. Um, I've just been because Spurs have tried getting forward and pushing on for the win. So it could have been 3-1. I think 3-1 may have been a more fair result. But 5-1 is a total domination. Uh, but I've got no problems with that. I'll take it. Uh, this is as soon as I've put the sliders on. So you guys may want to see more sliders. And I've got no problems if you do. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to put the sliders up a little bit more. Just to make it a bit harder. But... Um, yeah, 5-1 against White Hart Lane. That's our first goal conceded, however. And it was a it was a spectacular goal by Christian Eriksen as well. But um, 
yeah, I, I like that result. And as you can see here, Jay Fulton, Reese. I know you wanted Jay Fulton to get some training done, so I've put that in there. Um, and yeah, added on to that, Reese Nicholson, shout out to you. Uh, he asked me to train Jay Fulton, so I've got no problems listening to suggestions like that as I'm just fixing my mic up there. Uh, if you want to see anyone else getting trained to grow their potential, then let me know in the comments below. As well as that, we have a cup game. As you can see, the team year full 11 change. If you want to see certain players play in these cup games, please let me know down in the comments below. Because obviously I want to play my own players, but if you guys want to see people play in these cup games that you haven't really seen before, uh, let me know and I'll try and get them involved uh, in all of the cup games as you can see here Dominic Solanke the uh, the player we loaned out to Brentford he is only on loan from us he'll be starting for Brentford but uh, a little bit of a, a histo history be a, yeah I did say the right thing Josh McEachran actually X ones player as well uh, a little bit of history between us and Brentford they actually knocked us out of the semi-final of the FA Cup at uh, at Wembley Stadium 2-0 and then we played them in the Community Shield and that was a pretty close game as well uh, I think that was a close game but um yeah, straight away from kickoff, we're just uh, passing the ball about. As you can see, Nathan Dyer's got the ball. But uh, yeah, Brentford, they were tough this game as well. This is the game I really noticed the, the sliders come into play. As you can see, Jefferson Montero. Had that been Memphis cutting in on the, off from the left-hand side, it may have been a different story. But uh, it was unlucky. It was a good chance there from Jefferson Montero. Dominic Solanke has the ball down the left-hand side. He'll pass it into Zhang Yijie. Uh, I'm not going to try and say that name again, but it's still Solanke. He'll try and squeeze it past Reese Oxford, but doesn't quite manage to do so. A chance for a counter-attack, but Leon Britton gets dispossessed, then wins it back, then loses it again as Woods is on the ball. Woods into Jota. Uh, it's a massive shambles. Comes back into Jota, and uh, it's a good save from Christopher Nordvelt. But yeah, I definitely noticed that Brentford were as good as I remember them being. I mean, I couldn't believe when they knocked us out of the FA Cup final. I was gutted about that, but uh, we got some revenge on them in the Community Shield. Now we want some even more revenge. Uh, as Kingsley plays it out the right-hand side, you tangle Rangel. Angel Rangel through Jefferson Montero, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he just fluffs it wide. I thought it may have been a block at the start, but he just fluffs it wide. Uh, that's not Montero's strong point, to be fair to him. He's uh, he's not got the best shooting, but we live on. Uh, 47 minutes into the game. Now, just after halftime, Jota has the ball down the right-hand side. Could have been a penalty there. Could have been another one there. But he manages to get the shot away, and it's another good save from Christopher Nordwell. Now again, pretty late onto the game, 60 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go, Jota makes a good tackle here, but it does go out for a throw in, and Jefferson Montero will take this one fairly quickly, uh, he'll pass that one into Wayne Routledge, Wayne Routledge turns, he'll pass it out to Mohamed Elneny, who takes the shot, and it doesn't go too far away from the post there, I'm not sure how good Elneny's shooting stats are, but, uh, but uh, yeah, that effort from him wasn't too bad. A couple of minutes later on into the game now, as you can see, Brentford getting forward and Sawyers. They, you can see they just don't quite have that uh, ability there. But uh, we make a, a sub straight after that. As you can see, we brought Emnes and Michu on. But we're actually going to take Britain off. Uh, I was debating bringing Felton on, but I decided to bring Mark Rhymes on just for a bit more of an attacking option there. Because we had El Nene and Britain uh, both a bit defensive. So I thought I'd bring Mark Rhymes on and hopefully try and get a bit of a a more uh, attacking option in midfield but Montero does extremely well here he'll pass the ball into Marvin Emnes Emnes into Mark Grimes Mark Grimes he's got Nathan Dyer outside him won't make the first pass he will make the second pass and Nathan Dyer 10 minutes from time scores the only goal of the game so far it makes it 1-0 and uh, literally uh, Mark Grimes' first couple of touches of the ball I was so gutted when the first pass didn't pull off I don't know how the Brentford defender manages to get a foot in the way. As you can see here, doesn't get that pass, but he manages to hustle for it. He'll get the second pass, and the first time shot from Nathan Dyer goes straight into the back of the t back of the net. No chance for the keeper. And yet, I always like it when Nathan Dyer scores. He's a he's a decent player for us. But as you can see, that is the last chance of the game. Matt Grimes comes on a couple of minutes from the end of the game, and he makes the almighty difference and gets the assist. Thank you all for watching this episode of my Swansea City career mode. Uh, my Elite 2 rewards opening should be out on Thursday. Uh, another episode of this should be out tomorrow. Thank you all for watching and peace.